Hi everyone, I'm Nadine. I'm a respiratory therapist working with the Lanark Renfrew Lung Health Program. Today I'm going to show you how to properly use and clean your aerobica device, also known as a positive expiratory pressure device. These devices are used for people who have a hard time bringing up their phlegm or it's very thick and they use a lot of energy trying to cough it out and they're unable to bring it up and cough it. So this helps and lets them use a little bit less energy. So we definitely want to clear our lungs of any phlegm that feels like it's sitting there for a couple different reasons. It will decrease our shortness of breath. It will lead to less chance of a lung infection because we know that that bacteria loves to sit in that phlegm. So if we clear that out, less chance of that happening. It also will decrease your amount of coughing throughout the day, maybe giving you a little ener more energy and increase your quality of life, which is why we're, all of our SRTs are doing what we're doing. So um, where do you get an Aerobica device? It can be ordered at the pharmacy. Uh, I have seen them on Amazon as well. Um, you don't need a prescription for it. However, sometimes the doctor will prescribe it and uh, it's not covered unless possibly if you have a good private plan, they may cover it. Um, so how to use. Um, so basically I'll demonstrate, but I'll first explain. So here's the mouthpiece. You're going to have your mouth around there. Lips are nice, nicely sealed. You're going to take a deep inhale all the way in. You're going to hold it for about two or three seconds, and then you're going to actively and steadily uh, exhale all the way up to the bottom. You're going to want to keep your lips nice or your cheeks tight. You're going to feel it fluttering in your chest and on your cheeks. Um, and that's a good thing. That's helping bring up the phlegm as we exhale. The important part is the exhale should be three or four times longer than it takes you to inhale. Um, the other important thing is I've had some clients of mine say, I don't like that aerobic device. It doesn't seem to be working or it doesn't do anything for me. I asked them to demonstrate it to me and they inhale and that's it. So the important thing is the exhale is where you're going to get the most, the benefit from it. So um, everybody's used to taking their inhalers and getting the medication and that um, is opposite actually for this device. The blowing out is the important part. So I'm going to uh, do a quick demo here and then um, show you how to do it. So first lip sealed. So you're going to do that for about, repeat for 10, 10 breaths or so, and you can do it for 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your endurance. Um, but yeah, the more you do it, the more it clears the lungs. If you feel like there's nothing left, you could probably stop. Um, but you'd be surprised about how much you can actually bring up with this that you don't even know that is down there. The other important thing is there's a, a little guide at the front so this moves from side to side, and this actually um, changes the amount of resistance it ta uh, is when you in exhale into the device. So I always tell people start with the easiest, which is the negative, that has the least resistance, and then um, depending on the thickness of your phlegm and your energy level and how mu much you're able to do it, um, and your fatigue, you might need to increase it um, to make it a little little more resistance. Um, if you find that you're getting too fatigued, just keep it on the easiest one. And, and as long as you're getting things up and it's making you cough, that's the main thing. Um, the other important uh, thing about these is 
they need to be cleaned daily um, especially if you are in a flare-up we don't want to be reintroducing bacteria the next time you go to use it so um, to clean it there's a you have to take it apart or disassemble it so there's a little button on the front here that needs to be pushed in and then you take the top off the mouthpiece just slides off the front the base of it this plastic part comes out and then you have this base so there's f essentially four parts um, so daily we would like you to uh, let it soak for 15 minutes in some lukewarm water with some soap uh, then take it out place it on a towel to air dry for and then just shake out the excess drops if there is any and then reassemble uh, or it can be used in the uh, top rack of your dishwasher to reassemble same idea start with the base you're putting this part in this black piece see how it's not black on this side the black piece goes on the front um, and if it's not going in, if you're trying to put it in the backwards way, it's, it's not going to go easy. So, you know, it's kind of slides in nice. Then the next part goes on. Again, same thing. If you're trying to put it on the wrong way, it's not going to go on. Flip it around. It should go nice and easy if it's lined up. And then it's same thing with the mouthpiece. Just slide back on there as well. So, um, the Speak with your practitioner to decide how many times a day you should be using it. It can be used two to four times a day, depending on, again, your amount of phlegm and your energy level and that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, use it for 10 to 20 minutes. Take some breaks in between if you need to. Uh, use your huff coughing, so your stomach muscles, to pull up that phlegm. If you feel it's halfway there, that might help a little bit to get it going. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is the sterilization process for the aerobica. It should be sterilized weekly. There's a couple different methods that you can use. First one is boiling water. So if you pull apart the pieces, let them soak or sit in the boiling water for about five minutes. Um, or you can use isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Same thing, let soak for 70 uh, sorry, for five minutes and then rinse the pieces off and let air dry. Or you can use hydrogen peroxide, the 3%. That one you'll need to soak it for 30 minutes and then again rinse and let it air dry. Um, I'm also going to post a document um, along with this video so that you can print that out if you'd like so you can have a copy of yourself and it's a step-by-step. -step. It has a few different tips about the cleaning process and the actual use, daily use of the device. So you'll have it handy at home for it when you want to use it. Um, if you have any questions, just please leave a comment below and one of our lovely RTs will get back to you. Thanks for listening. Hope it was helpful.